Hello, hi everybody. Today is the 3rd of October 2023. It's 11.53 a.m. It's very sunny outside today and today is a great topic uh, yeah, about ha being happy. Always being happy. A happy heart is a good medicine. It's a kind of a, ex uh, ex um, you know, like a big, you know, it's kind of like a big, um, yeah, it's kind of like an expression about this. So we're going to talk about it, about being happy. So the question, what are we going to ask, uh, what are we going to ask today? What makes you happy? What makes you, uh, what makes you uh, like cheering you up? What makes you, um, uh, what makes you feel very good to be uh, what makes you feel very good to be happy? What feels you? What fe uh, what feels you comfortable? What uh, what uh, there's a, there's lots of there's lots of questions that we uh, that we should ask. What makes you happy? So what makes us uh, happy? Uh, usually, usually friends makes us happy. God usually. Uh, Things that we win, things that we, the things that we get, uh, parties makes us happy, uh, happy. Uh, lots of stuff, uh, lots of things makes us happy. Lots of stuff makes us happy. So, so uh, it's okay. Uh, it's always amazing. To, uh, uh, always amazing. It's always amazing to see people happy, isn't it? It's always a good thing to see uh, uh, people happy because you uh, because when you are happy, other people are happy for you too because other because lots of people wants to wants to see you in a good mood, not in the bad mood, isn't it? So the question is. Happiness is better than sadness. Happiness is the opposite of sadness. Sadness is the opposite of happiness. So it's it's amazing to be happy. It's amazing to be you know to feel good and uh, yeah, spend your uh, spend your life with uh, yeah, and spend your life with. Uh, you know, with your loved ones, with your friends, and with your family, with your brothers and sisters, but it's, uh, and it's okay to sometimes, um, uh, but it's not okay to be sad, because being sad is a kind of a, like a, it's a kind of like the opposite of happiness. Because you, uh, instead of you are happy, you are crying. God doesn't want you to cry. God wants you make. Uh, God wants you happy, active, make making friends all the time. God wants uh, uh, wants you to uh, to this because God is forgiving all your sins because God wants you happy. God wants you the kingdom of heaven means that there's no gonna be no crying in heaven. There's no there's no option like crying and pain and uh, being offended and arguments and, and all that stuff in heaven. There's no such as this. In heaven that doesn't exist. Negative things don't exist in heaven. They don't exist in heaven. Everything is peaceful. Everything is happy. Everything is everything is beautiful, and everything is uh, ha ha he he ha ha. You know everything in heaven that you uh, that you that you even dreaming about that you even want to dream about. This is what makes you happy. What makes you happy is. Kind of like a trophy in the Olympics, 
and a raise and yeah, you know, you're making friends with somebody, you, you, know, you are trying to, uh, uh, you're trying to uh, accomplish yourself because you don't like being sad and that's an amazing thing because, you know, because lots of people don't like being sad. Lots of people do not be sad. Anger is the most ha uh, ha hateful. Uh, uh, anger is the most hateful. Uh, uh, hateful. Uh, uh, hateful emotion because when you're angry, is uh, you know, uh, you, you know, you're trying to get get things out of your chest, isn't it? And yeah, you know you. Uh, yeah, you know you. You are angry. You're you're stiff, and and you doing lots of those uh, kind, uh, kind of, uh, kinds of things with your body when you're angry. But when you're sad, you kind of feeling down. You kind of you know you kind of uh, uh, you kind of uh, you feel that. You're gonna uh, that you're gonna cry, but your friend uh, when you're crying and you are alone and your best friend is right with you, then your best friend says, "Hey, what's the matter? It's okay. It's okay." So when you when you are happy, it's the most amazing thing that you can. That you can have in your life, happiness. Happiness is always, uh, at least, always uh, the good attitude. It's always the, uh, is always a good thing to get yourself energetic, to get yourself, to get yourself, uh, uh, to get yourself a better, a thing that you really like to do. It's better to be happy than other emotions, you know. Uh, well, when you feel, uh, when you f uh, feel like you scared about something, don't face it. Don't face. Uh, uh, sometimes people say, "Oh, if you if you are scared, then you have to face your fears." Sometimes, sometimes people don't say that. Sometimes people. Mm, uh, sometimes people, when uh, when the sometimes people when they are scared, they don't face what they are scared of because it's really depressing. That uh, it's really depressing that uh, that uh, some somebody is uh, scared of something. But then let's uh, come back to happiness because happiness is the most. Uh, uh, is uh, uh, happiness is from God. So let's go to uh, uh, Romans chapter 15 and I will read you verse 13. I pray that God's source of hope will uh, fill you completely with joy and peace because you trust Him. Then you will overflow with uh, confident hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. So, Paul was writing, uh, uh, Paul was writing to Romans, to Corinthians, to Colossians, and to uh, uh, other, uh, those people, uh, because he was teaching, uh, he was uh, teaching the message about yeah, about living to please others. So uh, Paul is teaching that uh, yeah, his uh, uh, p uh, p uh, uh, ro so Paul is teaching his uh, uh, his uh, his people that being happy is more to accomplish. So that's an idea. Of um, so that's an idea of it. So that's an idea of it. That's a that's a kind of a uh, that's a kind of a like expression that 
uh, Paul uses in uh, yeah, in the book of Romans, chapter 15, verse uh, 13, and the New Living Translation uh, Bible, that, uh, that happiness comes from the Lord. That happiness comes from the Lord. That happiness comes from the, um, the power of the Holy Spirit. So, in the verse 13, uh, what it says, I'm going to read it again. I pray that God, the source of hope, will fill your, you completely with joy and peace because you trust in Him. You trust in Him. You trust in God. You trust in people that you love. You trust in people that you uh, that you are friends with. Then you will overflow with confident hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. So Paul was teaching people that uh, uh, that living with living uh, living to please others. Is the is a good uh, is a great idea to make yourself um, uh, so uh, is making an idea to make yourself um, an amazing person. Let's go to Romans chapter twelve, twelve, because my favorite. Uh, this is the in my personal opinion. This is my favorite book in the Bible, the book of Romans, because the book of Romans, the, uh, what Paul was, uh, uh, what Paul is teaching about mm, the book of Romans, the book of Romans is teaching about living, living with other people, uh, about God's mercy, respecting for authority and all that stuff. So Romans is, is teaching lots of things. So rejoice in our confident uh, hope. Be present in trouble and keep on praying. So, uh, so happiness makes you makes you uh, it makes you a good heart. Makes you a good heart. It's avoiding is avoid uh, is avoiding uh, is avoiding trouble. Is avoiding uh, is avoiding sadness. Which is crying and is avoiding and is avoiding uh, the th uh, the things that you wanna avoid, which is uh, uh, which is all this uh, all those bad things that are they are against God. So the, uh, that's a good um, that's a good uh, that's a good uh, observation of this because. Uh, because uh, people usually uh, usually are happy because uh, because money 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 because they want to go for you know uh, like a party but world is not always about money world is all about friends and family and God and uh, uh, and uh, uh, and usually. And usually, this is what this is what is lo our life is all about. Uh, life is all about God. Life is all about friends and family and uh, and good stuff. Usually, uh, being happy with money has uh, their has its minus uh, uh, has uh, the pluses and minuses, but those minuses are uh, more disturbing than the pluses so that's the so that's the yeah, good uh so that's a good paraphrase of that let's go to psalm chapter uh, 37 and i want to read verse 4 because uh, because uh, not just uh apostle paul was teaching uh, was teaching about uh uh, happiness and all those uh, other stuff from God, but he was also uh, teach. Uh, but David was also uh, teaching uh, teaching things before Jesus was born. So, come on, where is the book of Psalms? 
Okay, we are going to Psalms chapter 37. And I want to read verse 4, because verse 4 is talking about yeah, Psalm 37, verse 4. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so uh, I gotta get there in a moment. Oh, 37 verse 4. So, yeah, so the Lord is trying uh, to, uh, the Lord is trying to say that, the Lord is trying to say that happiness is better than uh, anger and uh, fear and is better than sadness. Sometimes, some, uh, sometimes uh, you are sad with lots of reasons, with lots of reasons that you can cry. For example, for example, uh, sometimes there are uh, tears of joy that you are trying, uh, that you are getting some kind of a very emotional surprise that you didn't even know. For example, a new puppy. For example, a new kitten. For example, you get a new, you get a new brother, a new sister. You, uh, you heard from your uh, uh, other members of the family that you're gonna have a cousin or a nephew. So that's really emotional. But sometimes uh, that you can, but, uh, sometimes you're crying from those things like somebody, somebody died in your family. Somebody died. Uh, a group of your friends, somebody is, um, you know, somebody got killed in a car accident or something. This, those are the reasons that uh, you can uh, the, you can feel down and sad, and uh, you know you, you can feel down and sad, and you know just pour your tears out. But God doesn't want you to be sad. God wants you, in Psalm chapter 37 verse 4 says, Take the light of the Lord, and He will give you heart, heart's desires. So, heart's desires, what the Lord is trying to say, that the Lord is trying to give you things that you want to do in your heart. Things that you want to do in your life, but things are in your heart, those things, what are you doing in, uh, in your life? Because the other, uh, because the, uh, uh, in another words, that, yeah, that, uh, that you are in my heart, that's a kind of expression that you really love someone. You are in my heart means that you, uh, that you, that, uh, that uh, you are, Loving as uh, uh, someone so much that you are best friends to uh, so someone that is uh, that could be a big shame. That could be a big shame to get to uh, not be with him anymore. So that's the so that's an idea of the expression being someone's in heart. So that's the, uh, so that's the, uh, so that's the thing that God is trying to say. Okay, let's go to Isaiah chapter twelve. Uh, let's go to Isaiah chapter twelve, and we're gonna read verse three. Uh, I think we're gonna read verse. Uh, we're gonna read verse 3, yes. We're gonna read verse 3, chapter 12, verse 3. And, uh, Isaiah was a prophet, uh, Isaiah was a prophet that he also was, uh, talking about, um, uh, the reasons of being happy. And listen to this because, mm, uh, and listen to this because this is very a good thing. With joy you will drink deeply from the fountain of salvation. Means that 
And what God is trying to say, what uh, the, uh, the, the author in this uh, book is trying to say, that you will uh, establish lots of things with, uh, with joy, that you will, uh, that you will be happy, you know, that if you are happy, then people are going to be more likable for you, that you will be, you will be, you will be uh, a, a better friend than being hard on yourself. That's uh, what, uh, yeah, that's what uh, really Isaiah, uh, the book of Isaiah is talking about. With joy you will drink deeply from the fountain of salvation means that, that you're going to have salvation from God when you are, you know, when you are feeling good but not feeling down. So, you, so, you, uh, so the clean water is the joy, friendship, and love, and uh, God, and all those uh, other positive, uh, positive stuff, and the dirty water is the devil. The dirty water is the devil, because you cannot, you cannot swim in the dirty water. You just uh, can't swim, uh, swim in springs and clean water. So this is what is uh, really... So this is what is really this uh, expression is uh, about. With joy, you will drink deeply from the fountain of salvation. So that's the so that's the like a key to um, understand uh, the whole uh, paraphrase uh, paraphrase of this. Let's go to Ma Matthew chapter five because. The book of Matthew was the, uh, he was the first evangelist to write the New Testament. So, uh, the, uh, he was the first evangelist to write the New Testament. So, Paul was right, uh, uh, and Paul was writing, uh, uh, Paul was writing Romans, Corinthians, Colossians, and Galatians, and all those other kinds of things, but Matthew was reading, uh, was, um, oh gosh, uh, when Paul was, uh, Paul, Paul was writing, uh, to lots of people, to Galatians, to Corinthians, to, uh, to Romans, which is my favorite book, and, uh, and the thing is that usually, P uh, uh, and the thing is that usually people, uh, when they reading the Bible makes, um, people, uh, happy. So this is the whole ob uh, obje objection. Yeah, of uh, the Bible. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Mm, so, yeah, that was just uh, a little thing uh, to say. Okay, God. So, did G uh, so Jesus was saying, uh, Jesus was uh, uh, saying this, God bless those whose hearts are pure, for they, uh, are, they will see God. So, the hearts are pure. So the hearts are pure means that hearts are good. So the hearts are mm, so the heart, uh, hearts of people uh, the uh, people's hearts are good. That means you uh, that you should uh, uh, that you should be happy. That means you have a pure heart. So Jesus was teaching in the book of Matthew chapter 5 about the Sermon on the Mount. So he was teaching about salt and light. He was teaching about the law. He was teaching about anger. He was teaching about idolatry. He was teaching about divorce, about woes and revenge and teaching about love, uh, love for enemies teaching about the God of the needy, and teaching about prayer and fasting. 
So God was, so Jesus was, uh, so Jesus was, uh, uh, trying to cheat, uh, teach uh, his disciples uh, those things, uh, those things that they are in the Bible. He was teaching lots of those uh, things, and the Bible says that teaching about money and possessions, do not judge, uh, uh, you should not judge others that affect your prayer, the golden rule, the narrow gate, the the three and the screw through disciples mm, about building on the uh, solid foundation and uh, those other kinds of things because Jesus w was teaching his disciples before Paul was joining the disciples. Paul was joining the disciples when when Paul left prison. When Paul left prison. And he, uh, uh, and he joined the disciples. So, uh, being, uh, so being happy is always a good thing. So being happy is always a good thing. It's always of a matter of your attitude. So this is what we, uh, going, uh, go, uh, so this is what we're gonna stop right now. I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a pure heart to uh, have, uh, to uh, to mm, a friend to a new friend with whoever you are. Just be happy with it. Thank you so much, and see. You. I will see you on Thursday, and I will see you next time. See you later, and I hope you have a great day. See you later. The uh, uh, October third, two thousand twenty-three. God bless you, and see you next time.